Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. I'm going to test some golf balls. We've got the new lineup for Callaway. We've got the Super Soft, we've got the Chrome Soft, the new version, and the Chrome Soft X, brand new to the game. So as you'll see with these Callaway golf balls, and this has been true for many, many years, as far back as I can remember almost using Callaway golf balls, they've always used this six-sided design on the golf ball, the dimple effect, the hexagon. And they still believe to this day that that is the best aerodynamic construction a dimple can have on a ball, where most golf balls, as you'll see, will have circular dimples. Callaway have always stuck with this hexagon design for probably 10 years or so. And that still continues to this line of golf balls that have come out, the hexagon design you'll see on all of the Callaway golf balls I'm testing here today. I tested these quite a while ago in Lumina because for me, a ball test has to be carried out on a putting green, chipping green and pitching first before then backing it up with real number data on GC Quad. So that's exactly what I've done. Let's go through the full lineup and I'm gonna fill you in with what differences are seen in these golf balls and what type of golfer might suit each golf ball and what numbers I've been producing with the data as well. So let's talk about the feel of these golf balls first. Now I could read all of the data on this box, all three of these boxes, they're going to say something similar. I've mentioned it before in club uh, ball reviews. The boxes are just there to help entice you to try the golf ball. The only way you can really try and test it is actually get some and test them yourselves. But I'm going to try and give you my rundown of what I was getting feel-wise from these golf balls. We're going to start off with the Super Soft. So Super Soft is, should do exactly what it says on the tin. It should be Super Soft. And I'll be honest, I was getting mega soft feel. So the words I were writing down when I was testing this on chipping and putting, I was getting super soft feel off the putter. Now, I've tested golf balls and I would put this as one of the softest golf balls I've ever putted and chipped with. It didn't feel like a golf ball, it felt like a sponge. And I honestly mean that. A very soft sound and great feel and good spin on chip shots and pitch shots. So I was getting really, really soft feelings off the Super Soft, as you would imagine. With it being called Super Soft, I suppose there's an element there of that you've already got a perception it's going to be soft. But believe me when I say, I'd, as soon as I put this, I could do a blind test and I would almost be guaranteed I could pick that golf ball out from any bunch because of the sound and the softness of that feel. Remember what I'm saying, though, softness. That doesn't always equate to spin. We'll talk about it in a moment. Chrome Soft. Chrome Soft is a ball I've used in the past. This is the new edition for 2017. I was getting a very soft feel again, but with a muted sound. Um, I was getting soft feel around the chips, but and I've put neutral spin. I actually wrote dead spin first, and I've crossed that out. I felt like I was getting quite neutral spin, so it didn't wow me on the spin factor. Um, and soft feel around the chips and the putts and just muted spin, or neutral spin I've written down. And then the new ball to this range, which is the uh, Callaway Chrome Soft X. I suppose this is targeting the market of the Pro V1X and the TP5X. I've got hard, clicky sound, medium, soft feel, hard with good spin. So I actually found that to be a much harder golf ball than the other two, and definitely the spin to be a little bit better with good spin. So it, again, it didn't blow me away from the feel. Probably the feel-wise out of all three, if I could pick, I'd definitely pick the Super Soft for feel alone. I love a soft golf ball, but that's me. That's all dependent on the golfer. Many of you out there wouldn't like the feel of a soft ball, so don't always go for a soft feeling ball. So put my notes away. That's enough of the note making. Let's get into some data now. So I've come back in now at Quest Golf Academy uh, and hit some shots on GC Quad. I did the 100-yard shots with a brand new tailor-made uh, wedge. I did the full seven iron shots with a ping iron and I did the i200 iron and did all the driver shots with the Callaway Epic. So I'm trying to mix up the brands as well to make this test really fair. And they're the clubs I'm going to test all the balls with. If you've not seen any of my other ball tests, click the link up here in the corner. All my other ball tests are there. To be able to compare these numbers we're going to see today in really close settings to other balls I've tested as well. And then I finalised this test by doing a, a durability test where I hit 10 full wedge shots. Let's get into the 100 yard shots first. Let's look at some spin numbers and let's talk about uh, what we find when we've got the three golf balls to test. Oops, I've got three balls here. Don't, don't want to lose one now. So as we go across the board here, we see Super Soft at the top in blue, Chrome Soft in red, and I tried to pick grey for the Super Soft, uh, Chrome Soft X. Um, I hit five with each ball and I picked the best three. 
Carry distances are exactly the same as I would expect. Uh, I was just hitting full wedges. I think the biggest important column here is the spin number. We look at backspin number. Now, if you'd have asked me at the start of this test, which one did I think was going to spin the most, I would have been guaranteed it would have been the super soft because of the feel. That was not the case. That was actually the lowest spin with only 10,864 on average. It's not bad, but it's a chunk behind the Chrome Soft, which had another 1,000 RPM more at 11,741. So that was the highest spin of the three. And in second place with the second highest spin, which I'd probably expect with it being the X ball, is the uh, Chrome Soft X with 11,000 spin. All the other data is there. As you can see, it clear as mud. I couldn't see any difference in the height at all, really. Um, they all, flight-wise, they all perform the same, exactly the same. It's only when we dive into numbers do we actually see some differences in numbers. Let's see if that trend continues as we move into the seven iron shots. I think the big things you're looking for in ball numbers is spin rate, consistency of flight, and the ball flight you like to see as well. Um, let's have a look at now the chromes, uh, the seven iron shots. We almost see the same patterns emerging. The super soft again, which I thought was going to be the highest spin, is definitely not. I read the package afterwards. I did. And in fairness, it does say it's a soft feel, but it's not for low spin. It's for low, it's not for high spin, sorry. It's low spin for longer shots. So they haven't falsely falsely done that. It falsely kind of sold it on the idea that it's a super soft, therefore it should spin more. They've not. They've just said it's a super soft ball, which will go long. And it's what I'm seeing, really. You can see the shots there. I was very consistent on the shots. I've hit every one of them carry 171, so we could not get a fairer comparison. I'll show you some club data as well, so you can see across the board, pretty much every shot was hit the same. Club head speed fluctuating only by one mile per hour, hardly anything at all. The big thing that I was finding were the, let me just bring that ball data back up again, that the ball the ball speed off the super soft were the slowest and the spin was the lowest. So it's getting no ball speed and low spin, but still managed to equate to decent distance. The Chrome Soft, very, very similar to the Chrome Soft X. I can almost see no differences. Ball speed almost identical, spin rates almost identical. So between the two Chrome Soft balls, I was only going off feel now. I think the numbers are going to be very, very closely matched. But the Super Soft is definitely in a different level to these two. These two are much more premium, but for soft feel, you're looking at Super Soft so far in the test. We then move back to the driver shots. Now, the driver shots, this again is don't ever, if you can, pick a golf ball from driver shots. Because honestly, if you're hitting them hard enough, it's almost impossible to tell what golf ball it is from a driver shot. And I mean impossible. The only way we're going to see is if the numbers tell us some information. And again, they do. This super softball does not spin at all. It is super, super low spin. For me, the distance is still there, even though the low spin is there. But if you're wanting stop, if you're wanting the ball to stop on the green, you're not going to get that with the super soft. The spin rate on average with the super soft was 1500 solo solo we see the um chrome soft and the chrome soft x they've mixed around for some reason again very very closely matched i was actually getting slightly lower spin numbers off the chrome soft the chrome soft x was giving me slightly higher spin numbers but flight wise again not much in it the chrome soft i was actually getting a little bit of a higher ball flight uh, the grey is actually hidden behind the red there. If you look closely enough, it, the, I stupidly picked the grey colour and didn't realise it was going to be showing up there. So the ball flights, the grey is very closely to the, the red number. Uh, it's not anything... Honestly, the two Chrome Softs, I can hardly separate apart from feel. The Super Soft is definitely a lower spinning golf ball. So going through the, the test there, going through the data... If you'd asked me on the putting green and the chipping green and the pitch shots, which one did I like the most? Personally, I love the feel of a soft golf ball. So for me, the super soft would have already been starting to get pegged up on that first tee. It's good job I backed it up with data and testing, and I'm sure I would have tested that out on the golf course and realized pretty quickly that this super soft golf ball, as much as it feels great around the greens, and if you want a super soft, perfect golf ball for that 
it does not spin high. So it will go long and it'll struggle to hold greens. Between the two chrome softs, apart from the feel around the greens, where I was getting, a, personally I felt like I was getting more spin off the, pro, off the chrome soft X over the chrome soft. I don't see any difference between these two golf balls at all. At all, and I mean that. I couldn't see a single bit of difference between these two golf balls. They're matched so closely, it's untrue. It's going to be completely on player preference, whether they prefer the normal or they prefer the X. For me, they are so close, it's unreal. Um, what I did like on all of the three golf balls, I think the line up line, the side line, is exceptional. It is so easy to line up a putt using that sideline. It is really, really good. So all credit to the design team there because I feel like they've got that line-up line perfect. We then went into durability. So I hit 10 hard full sand wedge shots with each of these golf balls. This was hard work, I'm going to be honest with you. We look across, Super Soft really got scuffed up. Really did. Compared to a brand new one, there was quite a lot of external damage. There was quite a bit of external damage. Um, it didn't, for me, didn't quite cut it durability-wise at all, but it is a cheaper golf ball. The Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X, I think they're the same cover. They're almost identical to even when they were new. So bear in mind, the, each one of these golf balls have hit, been hit 20, 25 times now each into a net with brand new golf clubs. That was hard work. It's hard to distinguish which ones are the tested ones and which ones are still brand new. For me, durability, five stars, nine out of 10, whatever it may be, brilliant durability, seriously. And um, let's have a look what's actually inside these golf balls. That'll be interesting to see. Okay, so this is the super soft. Don't try this at home, kids. So as you can see inside the super soft, that is just a two piece golf ball. You've got the inner core and you've got the outer core. So quite, you see that normally in quite budget sets, budget type of golf ball, shall I say. There's not much difference here. The outer cover is mega, mega soft. So if we now see what's inside the chrome soft. So we see a lot more going on inside the chrome soft. It's a four piece golf ball. Outer core, very subtle core just around the edge. Inner core and then the main core inside, very colourful. So that's the Chrome Soft. And then finally we've got the Chrome Soft X. So in the Chrome Soft X we again see four layers. But that was much thicker to cut through that time. The cores are definitely harder in this ball. Very colourful. Very colourful indeed. So there you go, that is the in-depth review of these three golf balls. For me, Super Soft won it hands down on the chipping and putting, but did not perform when it came to the full shots. There's no spin at all. Callaway Chrome Soft, Chrome Soft, and Chrome Soft X, almost identical. Great durability, fantastic golf balls, um, but just probably didn't give you the soft feel that I really, really wanted either. So guys, thanks for watching the review. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below what golf balls do you use, and have you ever tested the Callaway golf balls and which one suits your game the most? Thanks for watching, guys. Loads more ball testing to come. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Do some more testing down here at Quest Golf Academy. Thanks for watching.